the high quality cybersecurity training for all staff is one of the best. Um, you have yeah best ways of, of avoiding falling victim to ransomware. Connectivity, knowledge, data content, and capital are the key pillars of e-governance. As we look towards 2022, with the evolving landscape of the cloud infrastructure and digital transformation, organizations are now in better position to understand the impact of large-scale remote working on productivity, engagement, and well-being. With more focus on hybrid work models in 2022, what kind of course shift is expected to be seen in cybersecurity landscape? And what does the future look like? I love, I love all questions that relate to talking about the future. Um, but of course, when we talk about the future, it's impossible to talk about that without talking about the present or the past, right? Because we draw lessons from trends. So a lot of what we observe today serve as indications of the trends we expect to grow in the future. Um, I will talk about maybe four key ones we foresee in the short to medium term. Um, first of all, cyber attacks on the financial sector will continue to grow because that's where the money is. And um, therefore, cyber attackers um, tend to follow where the money, where the money goes, right? We expect targeted cryptocurrency to grow um, as cryptocurrency is a digital asset and all transactions take place online. It offers um, anonymity to users and these are attractive features for cybercrime groups. Adding to the complication, uh, state-sponsored state threat actors are increasingly targeting the space alongside cr um, cyber criminal organizations. Kaspersky researchers have already witnessed APT groups rising to attack the cryptocurrency business aggressively, and we anticipate that this activity will, will continue. And, and of course, to, to top that off, we are likely to witness the growth of attacks against payment systems um, and more advanced mobile threats, such as mobile banking, Trojans, mobile banking Trojans for the Android platform that can circumvent current security measures adopted by banks. Secondly, we expect continued threats against the healthcare sector, um, perhaps because of the pandemic that's overstaying, um, well, overstaying its time. Um, medical themed bait has long featured in cybercrime. With the pandemic increasing the usage of online medical services, we saw the trade in fake medical documents like COVID-19 vaccination passports, and test results in 2021. Fake vaccines were even spotted for sale on the dark web. Uh, so as, as more countries roll out privileges alongside vaccination or test documentation, we expect criminals to roll out more fakes in the form of test results, notifications, messages from doctors, and so on and so forth. Third, um, and maybe this also doesn't come as a surprise, would be industrial attacks. Um, and industrial attacks will become more focused in the, days, in, in the future. In many parts of the world, a rapidly snowballing trend is laser-focused attacks, particularly on industrial computer systems. Uh, we've, we've seen increasing, increasing theft of authentication data using spyware, with, with every attack director only a handful of, of targets. I think these kinds of attacks will make up an even greater proportion of the threat landscape in, in this year, 2022, and the tactic used um, more widely. These attacks show why industrial shop floors must be protected as industrial internet of things. Um, devices are, 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 are easily overlooked and often vulnerable. Um, I, did, I did promise four, so... Um, I think my fourth and final point would be ransomware attacks um, becoming more targeted um, in 2022. Um, 2021 was a big year in ransomware with a 30% growth in ransomware 2.0, um, also known as, as double extortion. These attacks go beyond demanding a ransom to decrypt systems to use stolen sensitive data as leverage to pressure victims to pay up. In, in November 2021, 
the US FBI warned that ransomware attacks, um, sorry, ransomware actors are using significant financial events such as mergers and acquisitions to, to target and leverage victim companies for ransomware infections. In these circumstances, any leaked information could have devastating consequences, making victims more inclined to pay ransoms. So in 2022, um, in this year, we expect this type of extortion to become more common. And of course, regular high quality cybersecurity training for all staff is one of the best, um, you have, yeah, best ways of, of avoiding falling victim to ransomware. Um, and I think it's important for me to also mention that Kaspersky is one among several organizations behind the No More Ransom Initiative, um, providing free decryption tools and advice for ransomware victims. So I hope that really that initiative will be of help to people at large. Thank you.